All right, this is the Vinkhaus Keytech Extra. I just tried to record this twice, and both times I got phone calls about a few minutes in. So, um, this one is a uh, high pin count lock. It's similar to the Kaba 20 or the Miwa JN, and that it has uh, pins coming four, from four different directions. It has them coming from the left and the right, and then also from the top left and the top right. So, dealing with four rows. Um, you, it, I think you have up to 21 or 20, uh, 20 or 21 pins. But um, in this particular one, on the bottom left, we have a pin right here in the front, and then it feels like uh, nothing until the very back. So there's just pins one and five. I think I think I feel empty chambers between, but I'm not sure. On the bottom right, we got a pin here in the first one, and a pin in the second, and then nothing going all the way back. On the top left, we got the first one. See if I can get on them. First one, second one, third one, fourth one, and that's it. And then on the top right, we got a hole here. So chamber one's not populated. We got chamber two, three, four, and five. So we got uh, four pins on the top right, four pins top left, two pins on the bottom right, two pins on bottom left, total of 12 pins in there. I'll use the Z bar for uh, tension. And um, if I go counterclockwise, it pushes against the housing. So if I go clockwise, it's only pushing against the plug in different ways. So to avoid binding, I'll go clockwise. And I could be wrong, but since I'm turning like this, I think I'm putting some little bit of force to the left here. So I'm thinking the left uh, pins might bind first. So I'm gonna start there on the bottom left, pin number one. Feels like it's binding. I'm using this hook number seven from Peterson in 18 thousandths. Um, just because whatever. All right, bottom left, number one. All right, got a little click out of that, but now it's very springy, kind of like a tapered pin where it just kind of holds on and then um, let's go. And I'll check bottom left, number five. Let's see. If... All right, a little click from it and it's springy now. Uh, top left, number one. All right, it, it, it also a little click and let go. Two, a little click and let go. Uh, I think three is just springy. And four, I'm seeming to slide off of it. I think I'm just sliding off four. All right, four, three, two, one. They all seem springy. Seem springy. Number one, bottom seems springy. Let's check the right. Bottom right, number one, a little bit of click, and then it's springy. Number two. Number two seems to be binding pretty hard. All right, got it. I clicked and now it's uh, back to number one. It's also binding again. Number one, bottom right. All right, let go and now it seems uh, springy. Back to number two. Seem two seems still springy, one springy, so let's go to the top right. One, nothing, just springy. Two on the top right. Is that? I think that's two. Nothing. Feels like nothing all the way back on the top right. It could just be my angle is kind of weird with the camera here. Kind of feeling. Oh, maybe something from the. Let's see, maybe pin three. Looks like it's hard to get under. Okay, let's check the bottom left again. And it's gonna maybe be a bit boring to watch because it's just checking to see what which pin gives in a little until you get them all the way up high enough to actually be set. Two, top left three, top left four might be binding. Just don't wanna overset it. Top left number four. There, a big click from it. Okay, it's now springy, so I don't think it's overset. And just working my way forward, nothing really. Pin one on the bottom left, nothing. Pin five on the bottom left, and way in the back. Can be very difficult to get on. I just ride down the top of this left side warding until I bump into it. And I try to work my way around it and push on it. Doesn't feel like anything. 
it's bottom right number one, nothing. Bottom right number two, maybe a tiny little click. Top right number one, let's see if I can change my hold a little. Number one, number two, three, and four, nothing on the top right by the feel of it. All right, bottom left number one, nothing. Top left number one. Number two, little click out of number two, top left. Number three, nothing there. Top left number four, nothing there. Back right number five, bottom right number five, rather. That's right there, and I don't think anything from it. Number one, number one on the bottom right, nothing. Bottom right, number two, nothing. Top right. So the top rights, I haven't been having much. I haven't been having anything yet. So I'm guessing this whole row is not just not binding yet or something. Two, three. Same thing as before. Hard to get under three. So, but once I get under, it doesn't seem like it's binding at all. Something here near the back, but it's uh, not binding. Nothing seems to be binding on the bottom, on the top right. Go back to this top left. The top left seems to be giving me the most. So one, nothing, two, nothing, three, nothing, four, nothing. Well, I do slide off of them quite a bit. All right, so it seems I'm getting nothing from anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let off the tension a bit and see if any overset guys might drop. I heard two things drop towards the back. So we'll try checking this again. Bottom left number one, maybe a little click from it. Top left one, nothing. Top left two, nothing. Top left three, nothing I wanna say. Or am I just slipping off? I can't quite tell. Top left four doesn't seem to be anything. Unless this is it. Something here, nothing. I think that's just uh, me getting on number five on the bottom left. The right side, bottom right number one, nothing. Bottom right number two, maybe a little click. Top right number one. Okay, so top right number one, I think it's set because it just Oh, a little click out of it. Never mind, not set. So I'm getting something from the top right now, finally. Number two. Oh, a little click out of number two. Number three. Seem to be slipping off of three pretty regularly. Uh, four, top right four. All right, a little click from it. Check three again. Nothing. Two. Maybe that's the whole bottom, uh, the whole top right. Bottom left one, nothing. Top left one, nothing. Top left two. Top left two, I think is, there we go. Top left two, top left three, top left four. Let me come back to three. No, four, no. What was this thing back here? All right, bottom left five. This one seems very hard to get on. All right, a little click from it, it seems. Bottom left one, a little click from bottom left one. Top left one, nothing. Two, nothing. Top left three, nothing. Top left four, nothing. Seems like Oh, that's probably an empty fifth chamber on top right, top left. Bottom right one, nothing. Bottom right two, nothing. Top right number one. Got something last time I went down here. No, it's just springy. Top right number two, springy. Number three, nothing. Number four, hard to get under. Number 
All right, we'll click from the top right, number four. Three, two, and oh, one might be binding on the top right. Come on. Then we'll click from top right, number one, two, nothing, three. And that fourth one again. I don't think anything. Three. No, I think that's nothing. Bottom right, number one. Nope. Two. Nope. Bottom left, number one. Little click from it. Top left, number one. Nope. Two. Little maybe something. Three. No. Four. Maybe a little something. Bottom left. Number five, no. All right, gonna see for oversets again. Let off a little tension. I saw something at the back or somewhere along the top right drop down a little. So let me check the top right. Is that something binding right here? I'm gonna overset it though. Okay, felt like three went up pretty far. Four, just a little bit. No bottom left, number one. Little click from it. Top left, number one. Maybe a little click. Two, maybe a little click. Three, doesn't feel like anything. Number four, nothing. Bottom left, number five. All right, we're already 12 minutes in. No discernible progress. It's kind of this this guy, I think. Bottom left number one is springy. Bottom right number one, no. Bottom right two, no. Top right number one, nothing. Two, nothing. Three, nothing. Four, maybe a little click. Four. One coming back along the top right, nothing. Drop off uh, tension a little bit. I don't know if something just dropped, but otherwise I don't see anything dropping. So maybe we're still good. Top left number one, a little click. Two, maybe a little click. Three. It just doesn't seem to be doing anything this whole time, huh? Am I just sliding off of it or something? I don't think I've gotten a click this whole pick from the top left, number three. One, two on the bottom right, top right, number one, nothing, two, three, and a little click from four on the top right. Bottom left, no. So bottom left number one barely moves, so I think that one's completely set. Top left one moves a decent amount. Two, maybe give me a little click. Top left number three, nothing. Top left number four, I don't think anything there. And then bottom left number five. Are you? you are so hard to find bottom left number five a little click from bottom left number five. Oh, maybe a little bit of plug rotation actually just there bottom left, left number one seems set top left number one yeah I think I got some plug rotation because now the pins suddenly they don't move much at all like they're jiggle testing like they're set so let's hopefully I'm close one, top left, two, top left. That's me just sliding off. Three, top left. Okay, now I actually feel the third pin on the top left. Four, top left. Nothing. Hold on, let me double check number one on top left. I want to see if I can see it jiggling it. I keep sliding off of it. All right, it's really stuck there. So I think top left one is definitely set. 
as is two. Three moves some, and four moves some, I think. Bottom left, number one, stuck pretty hard. Bottom right, number one, barely moves, so like a jiggle. All right, let's try top right. Top right, number one, no. Two, no. Three, no. Four is the one who kept giving me clicks, but doesn't seem to be giving me anything right now. Go back to three. It's got to be that bottom left. I'm going to let off tension just a little bit. All right. Just in case I ever said it. I was pushing things pretty hard testing. So I have a feeling it's top left number three and four that I have to play with. So number three. Nothing. Number four. Okay, four went up a little bit. Back to number three. No, four. I'm gonna check back left number five. Bottom left number five. I keep saying back left. Let's see if I can find it. It's right there. And can I push it? at all. No, doesn't seem to want to move. Front left number one, top left one, two, three, four. Four went up a lot just there. All right, bottom right, number one. That's just me sliding off. Two, no, top right, number one. Sliding off. Two. Three, I can't even find, it seems. And four, nothing. And check for oversets again. Nothing. All right, so there's gotta be just something, I, I'm almost positive, something top left that's got me stuck. So top left number one. That one seems pretty set. Two. Two seems pretty set. Three. Three's barely in there, I can't even, I don't think that could even go much higher. Just a little bit, it's like a little nub only now. Four. Four is making weird sounds, but I don't feel much from it. Three. And that's just a hole. Bottom left four. Is this, maybe it's bottom left five, I mean. Bottom left five, it's always kind of hard to manipulate. That's just me slipping off, I think. Oh, and we're open. So his bottom left five was pretty tough. All right, whew, 18 minutes. That's a long pick. Well, I don't know how much I talked in the beginning, but there we're open. Um, so I can go ahead and, well, it's hard to do it back there. Do it with this. You see that's open there. And if I take this out, let's put some autofocus. And take this guy out. Unfortunately, yet again, another one that I don't think I can disassemble. I've got a, there's an Allen screw here. Okay, so we can take that off and we end up with this. And the thing is that, so this is crimped up here. So I tried lifting up on these crimps up here, the two of them. Um, but then it's also crimped all the way around the back here. That whole ring is crimped down like that. So I didn't want to damage it too much to try to get this outer sleeve off. And even though it's picked, there's like, there's no ring or anything holding it on. And there, so what I'm guessing is there's probably some retaining pin in here 
So if you take the sleeve off, you could take that retaining pin or wafer out, and then you would be able to gut it through the plug like I would like to be able to do. But right now, I can't do anything, unfortunately. In any case, I can go ahead and uh, lock it back up like that. So it's locked. And the key. I don't know why it has a hard time turning to the left. Look at that. It gets kind of stuck turning left, but to the right, it's just, well, maybe it's both ways. Oh, I have to push it in? No. There's like a sweet spot for it to open. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, I can just put this back on here. Sorry about the focus going crazy. I don't know, this lens seems to go crazy on the focus. And yeah, that is uh, that is the Vink House or Wink House or whatever you want to call it, Key Tech Extra. Thanks everyone, bye.